Okay, so in question number three, they tell us about how there are different people in each condition which could impact the results of the studies. So the researchers are basically worried about participant variables, which is always a concern if you're doing an independent group's design. So we've got several ways that we could deal with that, and there's also several routes to getting the marks. We could change the experimental design, and we could make it a matched pairs design instead of an independent group's. That would involve matching participants on a specific characteristic and then splitting each participant off into their own condition after they've been matched up. Okay. Um, you could also change it to a repeated measures design, but you're introducing a whole load of variables there that you need to talk about. And repeated measures isn't really the easiest way to go because you need to start talking about how you're going to use a different questionnaire but also a similar questionnaire and how you're going to match the questionnaires up and all of this kind of stuff. So I would stay away from repeated measures um, in this particular question. Matched pairs, however, is okay. You could also do something like use random allocation to reduce the impact of participant variables. Okay, And that's the way that I'm going to go, just because out of the three, it's the simplest way to do it, and it's also the easiest way to explain. Okay, so here is my answer. Okay, so the researcher could have used random allocation or could have randomly allocated the participants to each condition. There's one mark, this is how we could deal with the problem. And then my other marks come from explaining how I'm going to do that. So that could be done by assigning each participant a number and then using a random number generator to draw out the names. For example, the first 15 names drawn could go into condition one and the second 15 names drawn could go into condition two. Okay, so it's effectively a lottery method. Okay, and that's it. On to question four.